Continuing to field questions for you, Samilia, I have a student who from within our Telegram group is asking for a friend. Okay, this is real fucking interesting slash intriguing. Maybe every third day or so, I get a question from a student who's asking for a friend. Uh, as though you guys sometimes are too shy to just ask for yourself. Uh, but anyway, this student is asking for a friend about, is it okay to skip UWorld, some of UWorld, in order to just go straight into the NBMEs and uh, my PDFs uh, for the step one, okay? Is that a good idea? I know some of you are studying for step two as well. I'll address that. And the student's two months out. Some of you are going to be two weeks out, four weeks out, eight weeks out, okay? So I'll address this. Uh, is it okay to just skip some of UWorld? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So is it okay to skip some of UWorld? And the student is asking for a friend. Okay, now for step one, and this is going to be value here. For step one, even if you're scoring well already, let's say... For whatever fucking reason, you've sat an NBME exam. I don't recommend seeing NBME exams before you finish your, but let's say you have. You sat an NBME or two, you scored like 242, 246, you could easily pass the step one. Should you just skip the rest of your world? Let's say you got 30% left, 50% left, go straight into sitting a few more of the NBMEs and then just taking the step one. I would say for the overwhelming majority of students, even if you're scoring well, I don't want you doing that. And this is the reason. As I said, there's going to be some value here. It's because recognize that the best prep for 2CK is solid step one prep. So sans all of the molecular nonsense, some of the pharmacokinetics, some of the embryological nonsense. Of course, there's going to be some material like that that's not going to carry over. But cardiac tamponade for step one is still cardiac tamponade for step two. And students I have who are sitting for the 2CK who are getting questions wrong, a lot of them are just step one oriented. Okay, it's related in some way, shape, or form to just having a weaker step one background. So if you go through all through all of you world for step one, you're not looking to take fucking shortcuts that will ultimately contribute to a score augmentation on step two. Okay, it's karmic. It's not to say in some cases where a, where a school is forcing you to sit by a certain deadline or you want to apply for the match and you really want to knock the exams out quickly. If you're passing, could you just whip through? Yes, there's a time and place. When we talk about broader umbrella statements for most students, is it a good idea to skip some of your world for step one to just move through, get your fucking pass, and then go into step two? It's not a good idea in my view. It's audacious. Stop looking for fucking shortcuts. Put in the work. Okay, you're going to finish your world. You're going to do NBMEs 20 through 30. You're going to sit the step one. Not dramatic, is it? And then you're going to go into 2CK and your scores will already be higher in QBank. Isn't that good? I mean, it's better to start UWorld 2CK at 61% than 55%, right? So, And that's because you finished UWorld for step one. So this is not going to be extended clip here, all right? As I said, there's a time and place, usually when there's constraints on someone's schedule, that we could curtail usage of UWorld. But for the majority of you guys watching this, stop taking fucking shortcuts. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.